Hello, my name is Matti Antosi. I'm from Hungary and I have background in finance and accounting. Hello, my name is Victor Martin. I'm from Spain and I have experience in the sport industry. Hello, my name is Raza Nakashidze. I'm from Georgia and my background is finances and oil and gas industry. Hello, my name is Blencha Oria. I'm from Costa Rica and I have experience in investment and banking industry. Hello, my name is Leslie Downey and I'm from the United States. My background is finance. Hello, this is Team 8, and we've been working on the innovation proposal for US-based bank West Fargo. West Fargo has been facing with a lot of challenges in the last couple of years. First of all, uh, the declining profitability. Second one, there was a huge pressure from public to find solutions for mortgage uh, problems. Uh, we've uh, been looking at the innovation drivers and we found, uh, first of all, the demanding shareholders, growth-driven uh, leadership, and uh, from the outside environment, the financial turmoil, putting huge pressure on the business of uh, Wells Fargo. We could see that uh, also uh, from the competition, there wasn't so far so many innovation uh, initiatives in place. and. Uh, the customers put also a lot of pressure on Wells Fargo because they had huge uh, problems with payback. So looking at uh, the asset structure of uh, Wells Fargo, we could see that uh, identifying with red, there is the mortgage, which plays a significant role uh, in the business of uh, Wells Fargo. Also, if we look at the structure of the income, uh, we could find that uh, basically one-fifth of the income was coming from mortgages. To summarize this, uh, there is a large problem of mortgages and on the other hand, Wells Fargo has, uh, highly exposed, uh, is highly exposed to that problem. So consequently, there is a room for improvement and room for innovation. I'm going to uh, pass the word to Victor who's going to summarize the trends and the opportunities. Thank you, Martin. We analyze the trends to identify different business opportunities insights. We divided the trends in both certain and uncertain trends. We also divided the most important trends in four main areas. Global forces with new technologies emerging, rigid banking regulation, and high unemployment rate. There is also an area for customers. We identified two different kinds of customers, personal customers and business customers. We have also to have into consideration that there are many different competitors and substitutes. And finally, there are also changing capabilities. Many industries are coming to the banking industry, and the banking industry has to Divers diversify to the other industries. Finally, to come up with the uh, opportunity map, we use the following methodology. Brainstorming, primary and secondary research. We obtain more than 300 different, different dots, but we filter to, go the, to get the hot ideas we got 83 hot ideas that we linked together to come up with fields of play and business concepts. We can see in this slide the roadmap, the roadmap for one of the business concepts. And now Sasa is going to explain the fields of play. Thank you, Victor. So we choose following the uh, fields of play. 
formulas Fargo to gain its competitive advantage. Strictly speaking, these fields are not completely new for Wells Fargo. Indirectly, it always was involved in them because of its customers. First of all, real estate. Real estate markets uh, undergo formidable changes. People and the companies are losing assets, values. So, in this time, by innovative approach, we think Wells Fargo can gain competitive advantage. Business certification. The same goes to this field. There is a no more reliable uh, rating agencies. Business uh, needs reliable evaluation. So we think this direction also uh, will be profitable for Wells Fargo. And last but not least, free bird services. We mean senior uh, services, senior citizen services. They had money, they had time, and they uh, had desire to enjoy life. So why don't help them uh, in most compatible way uh, to realize, realize, realize their desires? That's our three fields of play. Uh, and now Glenn will go in deep explanation. So I pass him the word. Thank you. As Zaza mentioned, we have identified some fields of play. Let's consider. Wells Fargo has 23.7 billion non-performing assets. The foreclosures have increased since 2007. This represents that we are not earning about one billion dollar per year, and we are expending about half a billion dollar in maintaining costs. We also have identified five, five ways to enter this market in a successful way. First, instead of bringing their assets into an auction and receive just a fraction of the price, we can sell it directly in the market. Then we can move into property management, renting some assets of different banks in the system that are not being sold. Based on this, we can also provide property management with our own assets. A very creative way is to offer a deal to the people who has the mortgage still and instead of taking them back the asset, we can get an agreement to rent it and put on hold the mortgage. The last option is corporate housing, where we are going to offer different companies to rent these houses to the executives or high level executives. Now, Leslie is going to develop the business concept. Thank you, Glenn. As Glenn stated, there's a lot of opportunities for Wells Fargo. We think the best choice would be for them to utilize their current assets to create revenue streams. The ways that they could do that are via selling their assets, renting their assets, or using their assets. Now, when you look at these options, the selling of the assets currently doesn't work. And utilizing the assets via property management of corporate housing is similar to property management of the general properties. So they're very similar in nature. To look further into property management, we can say that there are bank-owned properties that they could rent out, which would minimize costs associated with upkeep and maintenance. There are the bank mortgage properties, which are the mortgages that are high risk that the bank is very close to default on, and they can avoid default costs by working with the individuals in their homes and try to keep them in their home by maybe allowing them to rent until the market turns around enough for them to be able to uh, renegotiate their mortgages. And finally, other vacant properties. So if they get into the business to start with, there's also a lot of opportunity outside of, of their current portfolio. How would they get started? Well, they could start a property management company themselves from the ground up. This would allow them to take care of their current assets, but maybe they would need to grow and develop until they'd be able to take on further. Uh, they could do joint ventures, basically taking on the know-how of another company and working together to grow the business. Or finally, they could basically acquire a property management company. Due to Wells Fargo's size, we think that this is probably the best option in that they could jump in and really take advantage of the full market opportunity. We thank you for your time in discussing the innovation opportunities for Wells Fargo, and we hope that you find this very useful. Thank you.